Hey, what's up everyone? Now, so often when I do videos on this channel, I'm demonstrating a concept in a DAW, and I'll typically take the sound from the DAW and route it into my screen recorder. But right now, I don't have any DAW running, and that's because I'm doing my voiceover straight into the screen recorder. Now, how am I getting this audio fidelity without using my DAW? I'm actually using VST2 plugins in my screen recorder, which is OBS. And today I'm gonna teach you how to use VSTs in OBS to get a decent sounding voiceover. Let's get into it. Okay, so if I go to my screen recorder, we'll take a look at what I'm using right now. And in order to stop this sort of inception effect that we have going on, what I'll do is right click on the screen and click enable preview, and then you'll just see a blank screen. But as you can see for my voiceover, I do have my mic aux going. Typically I'll pipe Cubase sound into here, and I've explained how to do that in several tutorials before. But for the mic aux to go, uh, the sound is actually pretty thin unless you sort of beef it up with some plugins. So which plugins am I using? Well, let's take a look at that right now. For this tutorial, I will use the Reaper VST FX suite. They're VST version two plugins, and they're from January 2016, so they're getting a little long in the tooth, but they work just fine, and you can get professional results with them, and more, most importantly, they're free. So, going back to OBS, um, after we've downloaded and installed the Reaper plugins and put them into our VST2 folder uh, in OBS, and I'll just uh, disable the preview here. What we'll have to do is go to the settings knob on our mic aux, and a little context menu will pop up and we'll hit filters. With filters open, um, we can add VST2 plugins by clicking the plus button here and clicking VST2 plugins or right clicking here and add VST2 plugins. So right now you see I have the RIA EQ. I'm boosting the bass of my voice so I sound a bit more authoritative. I'm pulling out a little bit of the unwanted frequencies and adding a high shelf. Now I also have a limiter going, and this limiter is just sort of boosting my volume to broadcast volume so that uh, even though the input on my interface is relatively low, you can see here's where it's coming in. It's coming out at between negative 12 and negative six, which is where I would typically want my signal to be. And so I'm just using these two plugins to get the effect that I want. Now I could also add reverb or anything else if I wanted to, let's say, stream and play acoustic guitar as well. Um, so those are all options, and all you have to do is install VST2 plugins, uh, put them in the VST2 folder, and then they should appear uh, as a VST2 option in uh, OBS. So I just added one here, and we can take a look, and all the VST2 plugins I have installed are available. Now that's why often when you're asked, do you want the VST3 or the VST2 or both? It's pretty good to just choose both because you never know when you might need it. Now Cubase is sort of phasing out VST2 plugins, but OBS is using them and it's very handy to be able to record directly into OBS without having to use a DAW as a intermediary program for your audio processing. So this has just been a quick example of how you can download and install VST2 plugins and use them directly within OBS to achieve voiceover levels or even um, run them to do acoustic guitar playing if you wanna stream with OBS or just record videos as well. You're, the world is really your oyster and you could do it free from having to use your DAW at all. And a lot of times it's a simpler setup for people and they may prefer that. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, feel free to like or subscribe and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.